Saturday, July 26, 1913. Nearly two months passed since June 1st, and I have failed to keep my good resolutions and also to commit suicide after several failures. It seems a silly business all around, these writings included, but I must keep on for a while in this strain. The only thing is to try again. The end is not yet. What it will be I don't know. The depths have been deep, and the heights might have been higher, but there is a fair middle course possible, and I'll try to do my best. At 23, I have to go back to the self-consciousness of youth before I can cast it all off and face life as it is. I often realize the apparent priggishness and silliness of this diary, but I at least try to be sincere sometimes, and after the shocks of the realization of life, I may write as a man. I have felt the utter pettiness of this struggle, and seen things from the impersonal and even transcendental view. The difficulty is, after making the jump, to come back to where I left off and take up the daily struggle. It is hard after realizing that finally one will say, all is illusion, whether it be worldly success, money and honor, or artistic success, and the personal satisfaction of work well done. However, I must come back in order to live at all, and if I find it too much, and after repeated attempts, someday give it up as hopeless, then it will be necessary to take the jump at once from you to death and leave out what comes in between.
New York, September 27, 1913. Suicide again presenting itself as the only way out. 